The wakala, a traditional buffalo hide dishcloth, can be used to clean anything. Oh. <laughs> Cover me. I'm gonna see if we can get out over that way. Little Dalton entered Laughing Beaver's teepee! Broken Wing Law, enter Squaw's teepee. Must ask her to marry you. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I accept your proposal. What nonsense! Do I look like the marrying kind? Little Dalton has no choice. It is tradition. Groom and his men, the best men, stay here until wedding day. Hmm? I've got it. We'll use this crazy wedding to make our escape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I refuse. The Daltons will use this to escape. Mighty biceps will make sure they don't. Hmm? And Happy Badger will organize the party. <laughs> I love parties. If the Daltons are secured, I approve. to marry Joe. Do you see a hidden, uh, beauty in him? No, he is small and not very nice. I once had the most handsome and loving fiancé, a man called Running Wind. But one day he went hunting and never came back. At least I'll know where this one is. In the penitentiary. Good. The fiancé must now prove that he can feed his family. <laughs> There a bank around here to feed my family? No. Buffalo. Brothers, drive back me! <laughs> We're trying to, but well, it won't budge. We're playing tag with this poodle? Do it! Oh, the the news! Kiss. <laughs> you will have to kiss everyone. <laughs> Come and try and have some fun. But it's sad to see a loveless union. Hey! Are you all crazy or what? A wedding day is hard work, that's for sure. Wedding day? Huh? Let's go! Let's yawn. That'll make him sleepy. Are those kids? Quick! Funny, I swear I just heard a kid. This way to freedom! Time for bachelor party! <laughs> Are you ready to party all night? Ready, Joe. The bride awaits you. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Joe Dalton and Laughing Beaver. Hey, will you help smuggle me out of prison? No. If someone wishes to oppose this marriage, he must speak now or me. Bandits kidnapped me. It took me five years to get away. <laughs> so glad you got away. It's not that simple. The two rivals must fight. 
No problem, I give up. This oh. is tradition. Great, here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fake it, yeah? Oh. That doesn't count. Joe had help. <sighs> awesome job, buddy. Yeah! Away. Don't forget your promise! I see the light! We're free! Uh, maybe not. <laughs> see, I told you they wouldn't escape. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you for the party, Crazy Wolf. <laughs> I've always said that marriage is more dangerous than prison. Step right up, step right up. Lucky charms, fancy scalps, brand new collection, just gas. When will those featherheads get bored of selling junk? Ow! <laughs> now, what kind of behavior is that, young man? Huh? What? That wasn't me! <laughs> Clever Chickling, stop that silliness now. So sorry, Mr. Peabody. You see, now's the time for his coming-of-age ritual. This disturbs him. To become a man, he must hunt four coyotes and bring their skins back to our village. But the season's not right. No coyotes. Hey, guys, I got a plan. Well, we don't mind being hunted, do we? Doesn't bother us if it can help. All you have to do is let us out, and the papoose has to catch us. Mm-hmm. Another one of your twisted plans to escape, huh? Mr. Peabody, sir, neighbors need to help each other. This offer could bring the two groups closer together. In exchange, Clever Chickling could help Miss Betty with her work here in prison. In that case, I agree. But our guards will be at hand to watch over the Daltons in case our young friend here happens to fail. Clever Chickling never fails. <laughs> Once we're out, no way that pipsqueak papoose is going to stop us. <laughs> so, Joe, what do we do now? I've got a plan. Well, outings are fun, of course, but I'm hungry as a wolf. <laughs> hurry! Hurry! This time we're away! <laughs> Ten to one, Clever Chickling gets the Daltons in two minutes. You're on! We head for Mexico. Once we cross the border, we're safe. Let's go! <laughs> Look, Joe, I'm fine. I'm really fine. Mm -hmm. Yummy pasta! Exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Thank you, failing. Uh, excellent. Here's the cook. Say, it's a little dry. Don't you have any tomato sauce? We are free! Incredible! <sighs> Ten to one, he nabs them in five minutes. You're, You're on. on! Joe, what is that right there in front of us? Shut up. Keep moving. <laughs> ah! Joe, why is that little papoose whispering to the buffalo's ear? <laughs> Excuse me, friend. You wouldn't happen to have any Parmesan cheese to go with my pasta. Impossible to find out here. Or maybe mozzarella. Let's go now before he comes back now! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> 30 to 1, he stops them in less than 20 minutes. You're on! Oh! <laughs> 
50 to 1 clever chickling captures them in under half an hour. You're, You're wrong! wrong. <laughs> Guys, we have to get further away from that cursed papoose. No, oh, what an enormous meatball! Get out of the way, that's for me! Run! <laughs> I think we're clear now, Joe. Can't see him anywhere. And Mexico is just ahead! <laughs> Bizarre. How have we seen those tents before? <laughs> Where's that rotten little papoose so I can shove his feathers down his throat? Clever Chickling is at the penitentiary helping Miss Betty, but he'll be back soon to take care of you and finish his initiation ritual. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like we're going to sit here and wait for him to come back. On three, we push and pull out this stupid pole. One, two, three. Ah! I got this. Across the border, a luxury Mexican hacienda for us. Buenos dias, a room for four with jacuzzi, massage, and oh. Welcome home, Dalton boys, and bravo. Thanks to your help, relations between our two people are better than ever. And look at the marvelous work Clever Chickling has done. The little fellow is truly gifted. It really does look like a four star hotel. <laughs> Great! A pizzeria! Yes, I can order myself a large plate of spaghetti. Not one, two, or three, but four dollars. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, four dollars is all I'm asking. For this magnificent, entirely handmade marionette. Be warned, it's not enough for everybody. Huh, <laughs> that doll doesn't even know how to saw through bars. Well... Mm -hmm. So pretty. Well, my friend, feeling tempted? I only have three dollars. Mm. Sold. <laughs> only be careful. This doll is no ordinary doll. She has special powers. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you Charlotte. <laughs> I have been touched by the Lord of Death. <laughs> but where did he go? An idea. I need an idea for an escape. Oh, hi there, Mr. Joe. My name is Charlotte. Watch, I know how to dance. <laughs> Stop it, Avril. I can't think straight. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Want me to slap you? <laughs> that was Charlotte. She has a special power. Power? What kind of power? Well, if you put a dog hair on her, you can make him dance. It works on you, too. <laughs> Hey, I wonder if it works on me. This evening, this delightful little doll is going to order our prison director to set us free. <laughs> My doll! Give her to me! First, we pluck one of Peabody's hairs. Better move fast, he hasn't got many left. In the Dalton family, we have been hairdressers for several generations. Treat yourself to a stylish cut. All right, why not? There! All 
ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! That's done! We start tonight, and soon we'll be on our way. I'm not coming with you. I have to find the Lord of Dance. There! I'm sure that will bring him back again. Dream? A yeah, painful dream at that. <laughs> well, Mr. Peabody, sir, are you okay? Shh! Don't do anything! You must never wake up a somnambulist. Oh, am I a somnambulist? Huh. See? He's going back to bed. <laughs> I suggest that we do the same. I'll never get it right. This darn puppet is really hard to manipulate. Avril is really good at it. Yeah, but Avril's sulking. I, Joe Dalton, swear to give all my desserts to Avril during an entire month. I agree. But afterwards, you give me Charlotte back. She's my doll, right? Mm. Now, make him go into his office and get the keys. No. <laughs> Strange how realisticism dreams can be sometimes. Hey, I'm dreaming that I'm opening the main doors. Gods! Stop me! Shut him up, Avril! God! Yeah! yeah. 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 Are the Dalton somnambulists, too? Sure looks like it. So we don't wake him up, right? No, we don't. <gasps> yeah! 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 <laughs> Drop the dog, you ninny. We're free now. But no, you said I could keep her. Ah! Charlotte! No! End of the road, Mr. Puppeteer. I understood what your game was. <laughs> what cleverism. Joe, Avril's got caught. We'll go back and get that ninny later. No time now. <sighs> Gods! Go get me the Dalton's hairs from their cell. You've got a hair from each and every Dalton? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's happening to us? Ah! Ah! We're running backwards! Run! Run as fast as you can! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it could work with them all at once! <laughs> 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 it's actually quite a lot of fun playing around with dolls. Hmm? Depends on who's playing. Uh, the trouble with dance parties is that somebody always ends up being a wallflower. A neighbor and tribe, the Broken Wings, will acquaint us with one of their traditions. Hmm. A bad day to you, ignorant woman. You oh. are truly most ugly. Oh. Dances with anteaters is a contrary Indian. Commanded by the Great Spirit, he does everything backwards and always says the opposite to what he means. Interesting custom. I. Me too, me too. I want to be contrary prisoner. No, I don't want to be like the contrary Indian. Uh. I want to be the same as everyone else. Then shut up and listen like everybody else. Mm. 
Well, yeah, you get it? In fact, when I say the same, I mean the opposite. Uh, no, I mean that when I say the opposite, I don't mean the same thing. <laughs> Stop behaving like a ninny, you ninny! I don't know how to do the opposite of breaking stones. What with this big beast nosing for Nick to? Mr. Cat, how about getting a nice hard stone not for me so that it won't hurt so much? <laughs> no, just what I did not want. It's going to be a lot more difficult without this. <laughs> <laughs> Avril finally found someone who understands him. <laughs> <laughs> Since Rent and Dumb understands Avril, we'll have him fetch the penitentiary keys for us. Nobody pays attention to him. Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure he's capable. Hmm. Avril, ask Rent and Dumb to do something else. I don't want to. What am I supposed to ask him to do? Pick this up, <laughs> and it's not the opposite of the back of my hand you're gonna feel. <laughs> Come over here, dog. Okay, <laughs> let's start with something easy. Tell him, uh, to go bite one of the guards. <laughs> Mr. Dog, do not go and lick that guard. <laughs> Come back here, you miserable mutt. I'll show you I will. Okay, so now what's the problem? Since I get smacked for doing what I'm asked to do, that's it. I'm not going to budge. Never again. Not for anything. There. Leftovers from lunch. <laughs> Difficult to drink chicken legs, huh? <laughs> Tell him to go get the key. <laughs> uh, what's the opposite of the key? Uh. A key is what you use to open a door, right? So you ask him to fetch something you use to lock a door. Uh, yeah, a key. Uh, Mr. Cat, don't bring back something that's useful for making an escape. <laughs> Wow, you really can think like a dog. Uh -huh. Huh? I get it now. I'm supposed to do the opposite to what they say. Maybe he's beginning to understand what we say. Bring something back that's useful for making an escape. Uh, this is complicated. They understand that I understand. They're testing me. I better show some initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That dog stupidity is beyond me. Go to sleep, you ninny. Joe, that's how a contrary prisoner gets to sleep. I have an idea. Hey, where do you guys think you are? At the beach? Now all four of us are contrary prisoners. The opposite to forced labor is voluntary rest. Oh, no, not at all. That's against the rules. Uh, and on the contrary, since an ordinary prisoner resists rules, a contrary prisoner goes along with them. Yeah, but since a prisoner has to obey the rules, then logically a contrary prisoner has to disobey them. Looks like it's contagious. Maybe you ought to put us in quarantine. <laughs> no! Mr. So I've sent a telegram to the doctor, and he's on his way. If it were to spread, it could open the way to a total rebellionism. A white doctor can't uncontrary us. This is an Indian disease. You have to take us to the broken wings. <laughs> this way we get out of here, and since nobody wants to come near us, we'll escape real easy. Uh, but that doesn't work. The contrary to escaping means going back to the penitentiary. <laughs> Nini. The great spirit has spoken. The contrary to an Indian is a white man. Indian is contrary to prisoner. Therefore, the contrary prisoner is a free Indian, and the contrary Indian is a white prisoner. Huh? That means they're not contagious. Hmm. Uh -huh. Watch out! The doctor's escaping! 
No, we're not. We're heading back to the penitentiary. Ah, yes, that's right. White Chief is not contrary to a big ninny. Thank you. <laughs> ha! Four fake contraries have run into real big problem. Couldn't you look in front of you, you ninny? Well, yeah. Just cut it out! So, hey, you mean you're not contrary anymore? I'm the contrary to contrary! So what does that mean? He's not being contrary, or on the contrary, he is, huh? Now, where are they all hiding? Huh? Anybody there? Yoo-hoo! It's Rintin' Dumb!